put up, put up, put up, put up, put up, put up. Released in the same year when Philip was in SA. Remember those days? Eh? But Philip was here. <laughs> Music from Rihanna. This one is called The Men Down. Unfortunately, I lost our coin toss again. That was actually Pimelo's selection. And we really do hope that you enjoyed our classic jam this morning. And the reason why we decided on a Rihanna songs is because Rihanna is celebrating her 29th birthday today. Can you believe it? Still very young. It is exactly 41. You're listening to UJF and Breakfast on UJFM 95.4. I know you've been waiting for this. Well, it's finally happening. We are hanging out in studio with a talented TV presenter and one of the sickest MCs in the game. Nomuzi Mabena, live on UJFM Breakfast, Mahofi. <laughs> What's up? Mahofi, 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 Mahofi. Hey, everybody. How are you guys doing? We are well on yourself, Muzi. I'm, I'm so sorry I'm late, guys. Traffic yeah. is insane. Like, we understand. Insane. Yeah. It's raining and I was coming from the north, so it was crazy. My Ach, so you're a north girl? Yeah, you know, I stay in the north. Oh, okay, moving up in the world, I see. That's where I risk my head. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I uh, saw your tweet a bit earlier, you know, saying that you don't really like, you know, rainy weather, but, you know, there's just something about the weather this morning. Did you see the tweet that came after that? Uh, no. It said, nah, I changed my mind. Oh, is it? Yeah, I changed oh, my mind. Okay. It just messes with my serotonin levels. I really need to see the sun when I wake up in the morning. Yo, pop, post everything. I just felt there's a core there. Your, your, your what levels? Serotonin. Serotonin. Guess core, let's look at What is serotonin? <laughs> 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 All right, let's get straight to business. You know, you've been in the game for some time now. You entered the industry when you were like, what, 19? Yeah, I was 19, 2012. 2012. Uh -huh. Let me take you to the time, you know, prior to that. Let's say when you were 18. How different was your life then? Ooh, at 18, I was just like going to auditions, trying to get into the scene. And I had moved to Joburg, just finished my mm -hmm. trick. So it wasn't really, really different, but I finally got work. Like I actually had a job, something consistent to wake up to when I won the VJ search. So yeah. I think that's what changed. But I was really working towards getting into the industry for a really, really long time. Okay. And this job that you had prior to uh, the VJ search? I did promotions. Oh, okay. You were a promo girl. Yeah, I did promotions and I also worked for a media company called Full Play Media. Oh, DJ okay, Speedster yeah. and DJ Capital and Marcosini. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did yeah. like events and parties. Like I used to help them organize that stuff. Yeah. So I did like a whole lot of stuff kind of in and around the industry. I remember I used to do promotions at Vuzu parties. That's so crazy that like now I'm on Wow. And when the was launched for her reality show, I was serving people shooters. Wow. So it's really, really dope that I worked there now. <laughs> Hashtag look at God. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but is the industry what you imagined? What you imagined it to be? Yes and no. I think that I. The one thing I love about it is that it's constantly growing in leaps and bounds. Uh huh. One thing that frustrates me sometimes is the rates of that growth. I just wish things would happen a little bit quicker. Okay. But I. Being in it for four years, I really can see a difference from where it was back then to where we are now. And it's really, really inspiring. Okay. Yeah. And I mean, talking about the growth, uh, you are somebody who has been growing in leaves and bounds. I mean, from the VJ search, uh, you went into music. But was music something you've always wanted to do or, you know, it just found you somewhere along the line? Not necessarily. I mean, I think everybody kind of has had that moment where they're singing with the deodorant can or the, oh, yeah. you know, the toothbrush <laughs> or something. But it was never necessarily something I thought I would take seriously. But... When the opportunity came, I mean, I was out at events, hosting parties. I worked at a music channel, so I was constantly mm -hmm. around musicians. When I was hosting events, and people would just see me on stage, and it would seem like it was my song that oh, I'm rapping okay, along okay, to. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. So, um, when the opportunity presented itself, and VG sort of came to me and was like, "You should really take this seriously." I was like, "Yo, no, I'm serious. Let's do it." Okay. Yeah, so it's something that I've kind of. I'm still learning along the way, but it's yeah. really great. I'm loving it. And you've been doing well. I mean, we've been blazing your music for some time here. And we know you to be, you know, somebody who was part of Cash Time, you know. And I remember when you left, I mean, it was trending. Like, oh, no Muzi has left Cash Time. And then we heard oh, about... You saw what happened this weekend? Yup, that was bad. This weekend was lit. <laughs> 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 
Y'all thought I was crazy, huh? <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, a lot of people thought you were insane. But I remember your reasons. You said this is about growth. You feel that they are all about music and you want your brand to grow in its entirety. Definitely. And I think, like you see this weekend and the conversations that are happening with artists and deals and record yeah. labels, it just goes to show that you can't you can't package a person and just give them a stock and standard deal. People are not like, mm -hmm. it's not like a can of Coke or a, a pack of Coke, you know, the deals that you would make with selling a, a shipment. Yeah. Artists are really, really different. So you have to tailor the deals to them for it to work kind of authentically and, mm -hmm. you know, for real. And for me, I was just a completely different type of artist. I always say I'm like kind of like a Disney kid because I mm -hmm. do it all. Like I'm on TV, I rap, I do music, do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So I do it all. And you can't really cut put everything into compartments. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. it's very, very difficult to put a value on just your music side sure. and to put a value on just your television side and to put a value on just your social media and put a value mm -hmm. on, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So you really have to look at the whole picture. And for me personally, it's just better if I do it myself. Okay, and I mean, talking about what happened over the weekend. By the way, no music is talking about the whole ambitious entertainment saga. Yo, ambitious, mm -hmm. nasty C, and Teleman left free world music. Sure. That's crazy. It's like a tough day. Yeah. You know what I mean? But the difference between ambitious and the artists who have left and you and Cash Time is that you are cool with Cash Time. Are you all cool? You're yeah, cool, right? I'm cool. Or is there something you want to say to us? No, 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 we're cool. Y'all are cool. You're cool no. with my E, you're cool with yeah. K.O. How, even if I was mad at my E, do you think Easy would allow that situation to... Oh, no. He's an OG. He yeah, would sit me yeah. down really quickly and be like, yo, sure. who's, you know, and he's he's always there for me. Yeah. Even before I dropped the single, like I went to his house and I played it for him. And wow. He, just, he loved it so much. And yeah, he was so yeah, proud yeah, yeah. of me and how far I've come. And he's... I will die. He, that man will be at my funeral. I like I that. Swear, I love him so much. Okay. No, we interviewed Mai uh, two weeks ago. He's, He's fantastic. The best, no? Yeah. But now this single will blaze it in a bit. Um, it's going to be the first time that we actually play it on UJFM. We listen to it all like, wow, okay, this is great. So we'll, so we'll, we'll talk about that single in a bit. Let's talk about Nomuzi Mabena music. When you left Cash Time, you decided that you were going to do it on your own. How has that been going for you? It's been going really well. It's been about six months now. And it honestly, it wasn't something that happened immediately. Mm -hmm. I knew that when I left, I wanted to like be in charge of my whole thing. I never yeah. really thought record label, but that was something that my management thought would be smart for me. Just, mm -hmm. just in terms of setting myself up for the future, you know, you sure. always, like one thing he always likes to ask, even all the artists, friends that we have, like, mm -hmm. can you walk into your label and give it to your son? Can you give your son Sony? Yeah. I don't think so. Can you give your son Adidas? I don't think so. But I definitely can give my children no music, yeah. my band of music. And it's it's something that I'm starting very, very small. But it's it's been amazing. We're putting out our second single in six months. Oh, which is okay. like uh, a lot more than yeah. I've done ever. Which is really, really great. So okay. I'm, I'm quite proud of it. I hope that's not you uh, firing shots towards cash time, eh? No. No? <laughs> just looking at saying I'm doing well. <laughs> I'm just doing it, man. Yeah. But are you the only artist under Nomuzima Bena music? I am the only artist under Nomuzima Bena music and I mm -hmm. probably will be for... For some time. I, I, I won't say like for some time as in like 10, 15 years, but it is a whole lot of responsibility to mm -hmm. have an artist. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I think mm -hmm. just seeing with myself what it takes on a daily basis, yeah. more specifically the running costs, mm -hmm. I wouldn't ever, ever, ever want to put a person in a situation where I promise you're going to be good by the strength of my name. Yeah. And I haven't really done anything for you. I just gave you the ball. Yeah. For me, if I'm going to be your record label up you want to shoot a video i need to be able to just give you the cash true that like, true that and I, i'm trying to do that for myself right now so but doesn't it become a bit too much sometimes you know with the tv presenting and not the music as well and i mean you're also doing you know somewhat uh modeling work and i know you spoke about adidas a bit earlier on are you still with adidas yeah that's fam yo. yeah you're yeah. still an ambassador for adidas you see, it's relative. That's what I mean. Like, these deals are always so crazy. I mean, yeah. I, I wouldn't say that I'd ever sign with any other deal, but I did a campaign with them and we yeah, yeah, do yeah. work all the time. I love oh, Adidas. Oh, okay. I, 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 I spend my own money on Adidas. Do you know what I mean? That's how deep mm -hmm. the bond is. But we really do work together. They support my career in crazy, crazy ways. And yeah. they, they've always been there for me. So I'm, I'm 
a lot. But I remember you had an issue with brands and the way they pay celebrities. Do you still have an issue with that now, or are you e are you eating properly now because of that? Um. I'm eating properly because I, I make good and smart decisions okay. and not decisions that only impact what's happening now. Mm. For me, I just don't like when people offer exposure or oh, people okay, offer yeah. clothes. Like I said to you, I spend my own money on Adidas. Yeah. I, that's why they spotted me because I was mm -hmm. always rocking it. Do you know what I mean? Okay. And I, I, if I can pay for it, it shows you that I actually am really loyal to yeah, the brand. Yeah. So if you want to work with me, put your your money or your backing, and it's not necessarily about the actual money, but it's backing. What are you doing for me? Mm -hmm. How is this mutually beneficial? Do you know what I mean? Oh, okay. And yeah. for me, I just get frustrated when it's like. <laughs> Besides the brands, it's not always the brands, and this is what people got wrong is that people think I'm taking shots at all these brands, and I'm like difficult to work with, and like don't mm -hmm. call me because I'm not gonna take a deal. No, it isn't that. If your deal is bad, I'm not gonna take it, and okay. I don't think anybody should. What's annoying is that there's people in the industry who know that this is a bad deal. I should not be signing this deal, mm -hmm. but they do it anyway, and then they make it seem like people like me who are trying to elevate the industry and take it to the next level are like divas or difficult to work with when yeah. it's like no actually i just know what i'm worth oh i like and that if you can't afford it leave it alone That's but i mean obviously in the initial stages of, of your career you know you have to take those deals and that's the thing there are those initial stages you know yeah. definitely i'm not and you can't walk in thinking that you're gonna mm -hmm. you know get the world but you need to be honest like a lot of our deals especially in the the advertising and marketing space are off figures and numbers that were negotiated in like the 90s mm. do you know what i mean people don't even give their contracts to people they're just like it's a movement somebody mm. all that all somebody has to say to you is you know we've been watching you and we, we think you're great we've been seeing your social media mm -hmm. you have such great impact and we'd really like to work with you we'd like to develop and they've caught you because they make you feel like they they support you it's like bro you've been watching me because i'm popping true you know, that's not what i'm saying <laughs> and you know that i can speak to an audience that you can't speak to yeah. or i can speak to them in a better way so mm -hmm. just let's be real let's be honest and when you really like break down the deals and when you actually break it down that's what people don't do all people say is no i've got a deal where it's like a social media deal and i'm just gonna push something for something it's like do you know what the value of that tweet is yeah is it worth just a pair of shoes do you mm -hmm. maybe deserve more oh, are you blocking yourself off from like five other opportunities because you're not breaking this band people don't ask themselves these questions and mm -hmm. it's like it depreciates the value of Ooh. everything. Like, mm. nobody's going to grow. Nobody's going to keep sure. Because there's always somebody who's willing to take that deal. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Moral of the story, know your worth. That's know what no Nomuzi yeah. is saying. But back to the question I asked you initially. Uh, does it become a bit too much for you? I'm really lucky because I have people that do it for me i'm very okay. just focused on being mostly the t um the the rapper the television presenter so mm -hmm. i spend a lot of time just doing that i yeah. manage my spr projects who manage the daily functions of my brand and yeah. the record label and everything that i do so i have people that help me there's there's a person who's slow, solely dedicated mm -hmm. to making sure my days are running per like perfectly do you know yeah. what i mean if things are going wrong that person is in trouble so it's great there's people in place for everything and it just allows me to be who i need to be shout out to smuda man i know that's who you are talking about yeah, and we, we we know that you have a very close relationship with smuda we've seen the images on social media y'all are dating right yeah okay doesn't it become a bit of a clash sometimes you know being managed by somebody that you're dating really i mean we have learned to communicate well and Aww. luckily for us like it's, it's work from the yeah. very beginning like when we first met he was doing what he was doing i do what i do so yeah when we got the opportunity to work together it was just kind of like natural yeah and you need somebody like you know smuda in your corner especially from a management point of view because it looks like he can black some you anytime so for all those <laughs> promoters who try to screw you up i'm sure they won't try with you no, no. <laughs> the thing is, like, if you think he's crazy, you like you need to know. I'm uh, luckily for me, I'm like, da -da 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 so he just has a way of just uh -huh. you'll just see it on his face, bro. It's not gonna happen. 
Oh, okay. You know? All right. It's great. Let, let's get into your new track, Ride or Die. Just briefly tell us about the track and then we'll come back and talk about it. All right. So this is my brand new single. It's called Ride or Die featuring mm -hmm. Young Swiss, produced by Playground Productions. And it's kind of got like a... Uh, african -y, kind of like an islandy vibe it's one for the lovers it's one for the friends young or old everybody's gonna bump this man i hope you like it Enjoy. well here it is no moozy ride or die alongside young swiss <laughs> buddy you're my ride or die no Muzi alongside Young Swiss. Uh, I did mention a bit earlier on in my intro, I said this is one of the sickest MCs in the game. Uh, mind you, I didn't say FEMC. Thank you. I said I MC. Because I've seen uh, a lot of publications, they refer to you guys as FEMCs. And I'm like, but why do we have to... Uh, differentiate you know between your female rappers and your male rappers yeah and for me what annoys me even more is when i like hear female rappers say you know it's so hard for us because we have to like compete with like mm -hmm. you know aka yeah bro so does nasty c and true that do you know true what i mean that. yeah so does rouge and it doesn't matter like it really doesn't matter if you if in south africa it doesn't even matter what genre you are if mm -hmm. you make good music if mm -hmm. you even just make one good song Sure. Just one good song. Mm -hmm. People are going to vibe with you, man. True that. Yeah, true people that. People are going to vibe with you. And I mean, even if you say you are the young ma brr, you know? Yeah, some people are going to be mad. <laughs> <laughs> Couple people are going to be mad. Sure. But we don't care. But how, 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 do you, how do you deal with that, though? Because, hey? I mean, people came at you when you said you were the young ma brr. Do you know what's so funny? Is that people always say people came at you. It's mm -hmm. like... People spoke about it on Twitter. They didn't true, come at true. me. Literally, yeah. very few people at me. Yeah. So many people have opinions, but when they want to come and say it to your face, they'll never. Mm -hmm. And I have mm -hmm. had far more people in the street say, Hey, my brr, mm -hmm. young my brr, my brizas. Then somebody comes to me and say, Hey, yo, you should stop calling yourself that. That's rude. Mm -hmm. I've never, not once... Sure. in my life and that's not an open invitation to you guys to not come up to me and do that because like no don't do yeah. that but i just think as long as i am respectful of it and i work hard and i kill my shows and i make good music mm -hmm. it shouldn't be mad and for me it's an aspirational thing i'm not saying that i'm full brenda fussy level don't touch me that mm -hmm. you impossible bro i mean i'm not an idiot yeah but i am saying that in my head like her attitude and her swag and the way she would perform and write and her opinions mm -hmm. I, I love that so much and i want to be like that and i aspire to that every single day okay there's nothing wrong with that i once saw you emceeing i think it was at the super mega show um in soweto mm -hmm. uh, well, i can't remember what that place is called but you were emceeing you know and i saw glimpses of my birthday and i understood then you know why you'd actually say you know the young my brother you're fierce on stage Asante. you you are you are jeez man you're, <laughs> you're insane on stage eh? yeah. uh, by the way she does her stuff in hills you should see no muzi mc mc is in like you know master of ceremonies we know that she's a fantastic rapper but you should see her do her stuff navigating shows you are fantastic thank you very much i appreciate it hey tada uh, in terms of ride or die where can somebody get that song it's actually Actually on audio mac for free download all you need to do is check out my twitter and my instagram sure. and my handle is moosley m -O -O -Z -L -I -E. and you that. can actually get it for free right now and very soon it's going to be on all digital stores okay we like that hey uh, let's briefly talk about open up the industry now you're somebody who started you know from somewhat humble beginnings you mm -hmm. know uh, you went through the VJ search and all that stuff and now you are quite popular I mean you can't say Moosley and there's a person who doesn't know the name yeah. you know but then every time you guys get gigs I mean when you got the um, is it the Vuzu gig when you got the Vuzu gig yeah you know there were talks about that opening up the industry what's your take on that opening up the industry that whole debate I mean, I'm all for it. Like, definitely, I think there can be more opportunities for people, obviously. And who who hates a fresh new face? Who hates fresh new talent? Yeah. But my thing is, like, ultimately, can we trust you to do the job? Mm -hmm. 
can we trust you every day to go live on television, read the prompter? Do you know enough about the industry? Sure. Are you are you clued up? Can mm -hmm. you do it? And I think what a lot of people want is that they just feel like, oh, because I'm fresh and I'm new and I really want to do this, I should be given the chance. Mm -hmm. You and 10 million other people, can you do the job? Mm -hmm. If I had to stand you next to Muzli, can you kill her link for link? Oh! If I had to stand you next to Bonang, can you kill her link for link? Yes. If I had to put your face on a billboard or Bonang's face on a billboard, can you sell more bottles of foundation? Can you? <laughs> can you do Buzz, it? man. Buzz. Can I feel like those are buzz. Okay. I'm Fair not enough. saying you can't. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and what's yeah. sad is that, like, you know, we give people... Trust me. I work at Vuzi every day. I shoot different shows there. I'm on... The drop, so I'm there on a Thursday, I do V's mm -hmm. when I'm there on Tuesday, and I do V and Stable, so I'm there two days a week. Yeah. At least twice a week, there's a fresh face coming in to do a screen test. Mm, I see. And trust, it's not easy. Don't that you feel thing. threatened though? I don't, because I do what I do. Oh. I do what I do. Okay. And I don't ever feel like somebody else shining means I'm not shining. Mm -hmm. Everybody, what is meant for me will come to me. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? It's like, even if I get an opportunity and it doesn't work out for me and somebody else gets it, it's like, I, when I look at it, I'm like, yes, it was actually meant for that person. Oh, wow. I was just learning what I was supposed to learn yeah. from it. Do you know what I mean? What is meant for me will come to me. Like, mm -hmm. everything, like, yo, I did, it's, no, I, I'm not threatened. It's just like, what is meant for you will come to you. Don't feel like if somebody else is winning mm -hmm. and if girls in the industry that are already in the industry, you have got like 10 other jobs, mm -hmm. you you are at home because they are hogging the jobs. No. Okay. And what about those people who come out to say, okay, you know what? Muesli is not good enough for this. You know, we see you on, you know, say Vuzu and they're like, nah, but there's somebody else who can do a better job. How do you deal with those people? You know, that haterism, if I mean. I mean, if I must like speak on or whatever, like I'd rather just write music about it. I think recipe oh, definitely yeah. is oh. influenced by people like talking that. about all those things. But it's like, for me, let them come, you know, mm -hmm. stand next to me. Let's do this thing link for link. Let's go. Let's write songs bar for bar. Let's make songs. Like, come yeah. at me, bro. I'm ready to go. Okay. I like that. You know what? Let's end this off on a high. You know, I like you. And I like the energy that's in studio right now. Uh, this is what we do on the show every time we have singers or rappers. You know, we ended off with, you know, whether it be freestyle singing or just a freestyle or just dropping bars. So can we drop some bars now? You want me to drop some bars? Can we drop some bars? Yeah, uh, we can do it a cappella. I can kill the background music. Oh, a cappella? Yeah. Let's do, do the background music. Okay. Should I give you a beat? Okay, let me give you, you a beat. One, that would be dope. Okay, no, no, no. Do you like this? Classic. Dre no, beat. This is a classic. Still Dre. Okay. Oh. Hey. Yo. Uh huh. Hey. Let's go. Me, I said forget I for friend cause I'm down with my day ones. They've been with me since day one. Hey. Let me try and pick it up real quick. There's so much swearing in this. Oh, I gotta take the swearing off. Hold yeah. On. I said forget her fake friend cause I'm down with my day ones They've been with me since day one since the girl came up Hey, oh snap, I gotta take this ring, I'm not bad Yo, I said F her fake friend cause I'm down with my day ones They've been with me since day one since the girl came up Hey Oh, All right. No, no that's good. Right that, 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 that's good enough. That's good enough for me. That's good enough for me. I've been down with my steak once, man. Yo, man. I just <laughs> there's so much swearing in there. I, just, I don't want to mess it up. Thank you for respecting that because it means you respect this. Because on the V table, we can just swear, you know? So oh, okay. I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> Awesomeness. Yo, uh, mostly you've been doing well, and we wish you nothing but the best with your future endeavors. Thank you so much. You, you're a heat. You're fire. I mean, I can only imagine what you're going to do this year and the years after this year and even after that. I mean, you're only like, what now, 20, 
Twenty-four, yeah. You are twenty-five this year, no? Twenty-five in September. Wow, man. Hey, you're still very young. So you still have a long way to go. And I can honestly see great things for you. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Mm -hmm. No Moosley on Twitter, N O M O Z L I E, mm -hmm. and Moosley on Instagram, M O Z L I E. Yay, tada. And that's how we say goodbye to you for this morning. It's been an absolute pleasure being in your company. Check out the interview a bit later on on YouTube. B, we are out of here. Bye bye. Hey, tada. Thank you for your Thanks, sacrifice. Guys. Buddha. Hey, tada. Hey, tada. Yo, the first one of that was fuck a big friend, so I was like, I <laughs> 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 no, no, it's like. <laughs>